Hey again, everybody. Um, back again to talk about ADA. There's some information on test one and possibly the final that will come from the ADA section. So I wanted to go through that with you guys as well. Um, like I said before, I'm gonna run through these as quick as I can while still giving you uh, the information that I feel like I can elaborate on along the way that might help you to remember, pick up, understand this information. So let's go on and share screen and I'm gonna pull up the PowerPoint. And there we go, you should have it. Um, I want you guys, if you will, click on to the ADA PowerPoint here on Blackboard and, and, and watch this YouTube video. It's really, really good. It's, uh, it's called Ramp of Hope. Um, I think you guys should watch it. it, it it's something that I really, uh, it's a little overdone, but it, it kind of gives us all something to think about. Um, and I'd love for you guys to at least take a peek at it. It's about four or five minutes long. I think we can all find that in our day. So um, what is the ADA? ADA is the Americans with Disabilities Act, signed into law by George H.W. Bush in 1990. Um, it's a civil rights law. It prohibits discrimination against otherwise qualified persons with disabilities. Now, does that mean if two people put in for a job and one is disabled and one is not that the job has to go to the person with a disability because of ADA? Absolutely not. It just guarantees that they have the same opportunities as everyone else to participate in the mainstream everyday American life. Um, it guarantees the right to employment opportunities, ability to purchase goods and services, participation in state and local government programs and services. It's an equal opportunity law for people with disabilities. That's the easiest, quickest way to put it for you guys. So who qualifies for ADA? Um, in order to qualify for the Americans with Disabilities Act, obviously one must have a disability. So here you're going to look at the definition of a disability according to ADA. A physical or mental impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities, um, a person who has a history or record of such an impairment, or a person perceived as others by others as having such an impairment. Um, it does not, ADA does not specifically name or list all the impairments that are covered. We'll talk about some that are not, some that are. There are five titles. Oops, let me go back. Five titles of the ADA that um, are kind of branches where things are covered. You've got employment. It just pro prohibits employment discrimination for people that are qualified. Public services, it pro prohibits discriminations to all subdivisions of state and local government. Uh, Title three, public accommodations and services operated by private entities. Pro prohibits discrimination by private businesses that serve the public. Now that's, that's important on that part, businesses that actually serve the public. Now there can be private uh, groups, say maybe a country club, something like that. That's something that you pay dues to be in. You may or may not, um, they probably would not be held accountable by ADA because it's a choice whether or not to join the country club or not. Um, telecommunications, prohibits discrimination in public communications. And then Title V is just miscellaneous provisions. You gotta have that in everything to make sure you cover all your bases. Um, otherwise qualified person with a disability. That's just a person with a disability who can perform the essential functions of a job with or without reasonable accommodations. So talk a little bit about each one. So Title I is about employment that it covers entities, um, all private employers who have 15 or more employees. So you gotta have 15 or more. Employment agencies, labor organizations, and joint labor management committees. It prohibits discrimination in job application procedures, hiring, advancement, compensation, job assignment and classification, training opportunities, 
and there's other terms, conditions, privileges of being employed. Um, Title II deals with public services. Um, regardless of the public entity size, if they are a public entity, then they it includes things such as state legislatures, city halls, city councils, state and local agencies, state and local courts, police on the state, local and sheriff level, state and local prisons and jails, public medical or health care facilities and clinics. Um, that is there twice for some reason, public libraries and museums, and state and local parks and recreation programs. So that's another area where I've had some experience before I worked for the park commission here in town for a while and we did try to have recreation programming for um, everyone. So in all of our areas, we tried to make a set accessible to everyone in the public. I was uh, the city pool director the last summer that I was, a couple summers that I worked for the park commission and we had a ramp to help people get into the pool. If they needed, uh, they could be rolled in via a wheelchair. Um, we also had a lift where people could get in. We could help them get in and out of the pool using the lift. So we had accommodations there. It was wheelchair accessible. Um, Title three, public accommodations. These are private entities who own, lease, lease to or operate facilities such as places of lodging, restaurants, bars, um, places of exhibition or entertainment. So you're talking about coliseums and such, theaters, concert halls, stadiums, places of public gatherings, convention centers, lecture halls, auditoriums, and sales or rental establishments, stores and shopping centers. They need to be ADA compliant, all of these places that we've just talked about. Um, the Some more public accommodations, um, service establishments such as laundromats, banks, doctor's offices, um, public transportation, museums, zoos, amusement parks, education, obviously it has to be covered, social service centers like daycare centers, food banks, homeless shelters, places uh, for exercise and recreation, such as gyms, health spas, bowling alleys, golf courses. Um, an exemption is religious entities. So remember that, that uh, religious entities are not covered under the ADA. Title IV, it is telecommunication that says that federally funded public service announcements need to be closed captioned. That was via a decoder circuitry act of 1990. Um, telephone companies are um, held to be, they must provide interstate and interstate telecommunications relay services 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This relay service is available in all 50 states. Um, they're compensated, the companies are compensated for providing TRS services. There's no cost to the users. Um, what TRS is, it uses operators called communications assistants to help phone calls happen between people with hearing and speech disabilities and other individuals. That's what TRS is about. Um, the individual with a hearing or speech disability uses a teletypewriter um, and then below here, there are different forms of TRS. I won't go through those. I'm not going to test you on that. Just know what TRS is about. Uh, miscellaneous, that covers things uh, like this. An individual with a disability is not required to accept accommodations just because. Now, that being said, go back and watch the video at, on the first page of this slideshow, please. And, that, and then you'll remember this statement, an individual with a disability is not required to accept an accommodation. It really comes into play in that video, so watch it. Um, retaliation, interference, coercion, intimidation is prohibited against a person with a disability who has alleged discrimination. So if someone uh, turns in a coworker or something like that, 
they cannot be retaliated upon. They cannot be intimidated because of making that, of alleging that. Um, there's, there are some conditions that are excluded from the ADA um, definition of a disability. So you need to remember that, take note on these now, sexual behavior disorder, compulsive gambling, kleptomania, current illegal drug use. Now I know that, you know, drug use is something where um, people are addicted a lot of times, but I think the, what the common theme here is on these exclusions are they're kind of things that are viewed to a degree as choices. Um, also can be illegal when you're looking at kleptomania, illegal drug use, and depending on what type of sexual behavior disorder you have, um, compulsive gambling, you're hurting yourself, but you're making that choice. So those four things are excluded from that definition. Remember those. Um, <clears throat> now, let's go back. Something that you do not see on here is alcoholism as being excluded. Uh, oddly enough, even though illegal drug use, now illegal is the key word there, I think, um, is not covered under ADA. Alcohol, alcoholics are covered under ADA. Something to make note of. Um, it, ADA is enforced by the EEOC, Equal Opportunity Employment Commission, and the DOJ, Department of Justice. Um, complaints need to happen within 180 days. They investigate. If there's no merit to it, then they'll mediate the claim or issue a right to sue. If there is merit, they'll either mediate the claim or issue a right to sue letter to the person who has filed a complaint. Um, sometimes it even comes down to jury trials and punitive damages. And that's, let me stop sharing my screen. That is ADA. I've told you the important parts, basically covered the whole thing, but uh, some of the main things to note about ADA Watch the video at the front. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys.